My name is Mark Suttup. I'm a glass worker, and this is my studio. I'm going to show you what I've been working on recently. These pieces are part of the Halo series. Very thick, blown glass. Once they're cold, I cut them, grind and polish them, engrave them. They're about depth and transparency, reflection and refraction, all those physical properties that make glass what it is. Here we have a couple of the anklets. I studied a lot of art history in school, specifically a lot of African art, and these pieces are derived from that. I hand blow the glass and I fabricate the wood. This wood's approximately 90 years old. Just for fun, we have a few hand-blown toothpick holders, a couple of more anklets, and finally some of the canted pieces. These forms are very voluptuous, a lot of color. Once they're cold, I cut them, grind and polish them, and I do some sort of surface articulation on them. Thanks for stopping by the studio. If you want to contact me, you can get me through email or by phone 216. 401-0680. My name is Hiroshi Nakayama. This is my outside of studio for a display area. thrown the wheel, enclosed hollow wall piece. You can arrange this any way you want. Buying my piece and create own arrangement. So be creative. Welcome to my jewelry gallery. I've been making jewelry on Cape Cod for more than 30 years. I love modern, minimal design, but I also like to infuse organic elements into my work. Typically, these are beach inspired. Sometimes abstract or sometimes recognizable, they tend to be beach grass, beach pebbles, water and waves, and even birds. I've always worked with different types of precious metals using all colors of gold, platinum, and palladium, and even silver. I set a lot on natural gemstones with diamonds, and now I'm combining them with more unusual and unique stones, all in new shapes and sizes. My interest in changeable and customizable jewelry has been integrated into my designs since I first began jewelry making. I built an entire collection of mix and match earring components that are paired individually but sold separately. This allows each of my collectors to create their own combinations. Being able to change the elements and create all new looks and ways to wear them challenges me to keep inventing and hopefully makes wearing my fine jewelry just more fun. My name is Kathleen Scranton. I am the owner of Bees by Scranton. I make purses out of old books and I save the pages. I rebind them as a paperback so you can read your purse. I have here a cell phone purse by Edward Gorey. I have a tablet you could hold in this handbag by Shel Silverstein. One of my favorites 
Misty of Shinka Tea, and it will hold your iPad as well. I make briefcases that I had pre-filled so you could see that you could put a lot of things in it. So I put files in it. And I make laptop holders, and they can hold an iMac or a MacBook or whatever the name of them all are. And they're all waterproofed and they come with the pages. Hi, this is John Pompeo. Welcome to my studio. As you can see, I paint landscapes and waterscapes. These are all original paintings and they're inspired by the peaceful landscapes that surround my studio, which is in suburban Philadelphia. These are done on canvas or board, and they're all custom framed. I also do commissions upon request. This is my latest piece it's called There Came a Clearing. This is an average size that I do. It's 30 inches by 40 inches, which is a good size for over the fireplace. You can see this and all of my available work on my website, johnpompeo.com. Thanks for checking it out. Hi, my name is Randall Smith. Welcome to my gallery in Western North Carolina. My work is primarily abstract painting, dealing with shapes and textures. This piece, one of the larger pieces, you can see where I've painted using multiple layers of paint to create the textures in the color. The blacks are actually multiple colors laid down on top of each other to create the blacks. If you look in this area, you can see the textures and the underlying paintings coming through a little bit. These pieces can be scaled to any size that you need, and I'm more than happy to work on a commission for you. Thank you very much, and my website is www.rcsarts.com. Thank you very much. One of my favorite pieces would be Zephyr, completed in 2020. She has 12 layers, including some blue accent layers. She is 16 by 16 inches square and hangs both horizontally and on the diagonal. Thanks for stopping by the studio. Be sure to check out philip-roberts.com. Yeah.